Hello everyone. In the previous video, we learned that how we can save the plans in the Stripe and also in the database. So now the time is to work on this interval count and fix this uh, plan name issue. Uh, it's uh, not an issue. It's saving the plan ID, not name. So how we can save this? So let's first uh, uh, set this. So we are getting this from request object. So request object contain a plan name, right? Like this. So we can save this from request object. We can get this from request object and save this. So it will save the plan name which you the type in the plan name field here, right? So now the time is to work on the interval count. So why we use this interval count? So this interval count is used where we want to specify some billing period count, right? So billing, what is the billing period or interval? It's the same inter, you can say that it's a interval, right? So if you want to specify one week, so you define week, if you want to specify months, you specify month. And if you want to specify year, so you specify year, right? So let me uh, show you. If you want to define your interval, so you need to, uh, how you can define this? So you need to remember because you can't to type manually. So you need, if you want to define the week, so you need to type week. And if you want to define, uh, if you want to create a plan for month, so you need to uh, type month. You don't need to type monthly, so it will not detect that it's a month, right? Okay, then uh, I uh, let me show you that how I'm doing this. I'm doing this through this because I added this weekly and in the value, I save this week, month and year, right? That's why it's creating month and if you want to create this for year so you can do this so in the scenario you want to create this for two weeks so how you can do this so now the time is to uh, now interval count comes and solve our issue so here you can define your interval count okay and then what we are count we want to save the interval count so let me dash and get this uh, input field name i think it would be uh, interval count okay we are getting this from this uh, interval count field right so i'm saving this interval count and i'm also let me save this uh, also here so it's interval count it would be a request uh, we are not uh, we can also get this from plan property so it's uh, return the interval count right we are saving this interval count so here you can define <laughs> let me roll back this so it's a request and then this request contain the uh, what is the name of our i think it's a in no it's a billing period or method i'm not sure let me check this in the create form and 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 in the create form we are having this billing period okay so let me make this billing period go back and here now i'm going to create this for two weeks right i'm going to make this uh, uh, premium or silver right for every month uh, every two weeks right so here you need to specify your amount so i'm naming um specifying 50 and currency would be gbp and the interval would be two why because i want to create this for two weeks if you want to create this for two months you will choose this two months if you want to create the for years same as this okay click on this save and it's going to create this and yes it's trending success so it means that it's created so let's refresh them everywhere okay in the database and yes it's created this uh, plan id and then yes it saved this name not id okay and it's billing method is weak and it stored this interval count too so it's mean that our interval this is this is valid for two weeks so let's check that how it's defined in the stripe okay it's still loading this stripe and and yes 
these are our products it's a 50 dollar so click on this and yes it's uh, valid for every two weeks so after every two weeks right it's valid for only two weeks great so you can define any which you want you can define uh, like uh, three or four or you can also define this for four month four week or stuff like that if you want to uh, uh, make this for three months so you can define this like three and choose this monthly if you want to create this for five year so you can create this like this hope you get uh, an idea that how you can do this so in the next video we are going to subscribe our users so i will meet you in the next one bye bye